Nope. Syncing audio now. What is up, my friendly bikers and trikers? <laughs> I don't know why I've been wanting to say that for like the last few weeks. I was like, oh, I'm going to say that when we do a video again. Um, my friendly motorcycle rider Colton is not with me today. Not, uh, not because I don't want him to be, but because it's Sunday and we're not doing anything. So I figured that I would take this time and make a video. Whew. Riding that clutch. Maybe we'll have to get a new one on this thing if I keep doing that. So anyways, what is up, my beautiful people? Ugh. Here in the great Princeton, West Virginia, for the last two days, it has been like in the 90s. And uh, the humidity has been ridiculous. Plus, we got a little quick shower today. Yeah, it's 713, still 84 degrees. I'm, uh, this fat boy's dying. But, uh, it's okay, I guess. I guess we can survive. So, the reason for making this video, two things, to tell you what we've got going on, and to update everybody, I'm on a Harley, a Harley Davidson, yeah, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Alright, here's why. Because, one, I'm a sellout. <laughs> no. So, I've had this Harley about a month now. A month and a half. Um, Colton and I rode to Beckley. Actually, me and a group of people, we rode for... 200 and some miles. I was on the mean streak. I got home. Everything was fine. The next day, my back started hurting, which is not out of the normal. If you know me, you know I've got back issues. Um, yeah, I'll break out the Vagisil, I guess. Hello, dude. But, uh, yeah, I, I've got back issues. It's no big shocker to anybody that knows me. Um, but it, it was weird because I didn't think anything out of the normal or you know, out of the ordinary. It's like, oh, I've got my bike, my back is tight after a 200 mile ride. It'll loosen up as the day goes on. Day went on, it didn't loosen up. Uh, the next day, we all decided to ride up to Beckley. About a 35, 45 minute ride. I rode Colton's Fury. Thought my back was gonna break in two. He offered me on the way back to ride his new 09 Road King. First Harley I ever rode. I absolutely fell in love with that bike. I did. Of course, this had a backrest and everything like that on it. Way more comfortable for my back. <laughs> but um, I absolutely fell in love with that bike. Fell in love with it so much that I said, you know what? I'm gonna look at a Harley. Found a couple that I liked. Uh, the local dealer couldn't get them for me, unfortunately. So I had to drive up to Charleston where they had this beautiful 2008 105th anniversary Ultra Classic. So it's got the, you know, the copper metallic and the black paint like all the 105ths had. Um, and I absolutely freaking love this bike. I have put, let's see what we got. All right, she had 35,000 even when I bought it. I'm at 37,793. I bought it July, let's see. I bought it July 12th. June 12th, June 12th, not July 12th. God, I'm an idiot, man, holy crap. Get some air in this helmet real quick. But yeah, so I bought it June 12th. 
Um, and I have rode the heck out of this bike uh, in the last month. I guess it's right out of month. Today is the 19th, couple days over. But it's all right, man. So, yeah. So hey, this is uh, this is where Colton and I ride, man. This is well, we're getting ready to go to Bluefield, West Virginia. I'm actually on my way to our church, um, Maple View Church of Christ. Hey, there's your plug, Maple View. But um, I wanted to give you guys a rundown on what we're doing and what we're working on, all that stuff. Um, hopefully, in the next week, I will have our our next long video up which is me, Colton, and my buddy Jerry, which bought my Mean Streak. Man, he cut the hell out of that, didn't he? Anyways, um, we all took a 450-mile ride last Saturday. To We left here, went to Bristol Motor Speedway, and then left Bristol Motor Speedway and went to Charlotte Motor Speedway. Um... It was a blast. It was insane. So you guys are really going to enjoy that video. Had some funny moments. Got some really good food. Got some beer. Uh, had a blast. It was an absolute blast. Can't wait to do it again. Hopefully in September, Colton and I and whoever else wants to tag along, we're going to be doing our uh, Iron Butt Challenge ride. So 1,000 miles in 24 hours. That's going to be a blast can't wait to do that i think we're just gonna make a loop we were gonna ride from here to key west it's right at a thousand miles but we decided against that i think you know just in case we have issues we're just gonna go in a loop so we might make a loop of west virginia i don't know man so just be on the lookout for that it's a lot of things we've got planned me and a, a bunch of our other friends are about to take our uh, camping trip up to Pendleton County, Seneca Rock area, Spruce Knob. So you guys will get to see that, which is really, really cool, man. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. It is. I cannot wait for that. Just hanging out with a bunch of buddies and camping. It's going to be great. So, back to this Harley. Alright, so I got cruise control on now. I'm taking my hands off. Now this is dangerous, obviously. I don't recommend anybody do it. This bike just is straight, man. I mean it is beautiful. It eats the turns. It's or eats the bumps and all that stuff, man. It's just insane. So hopefully my wife doesn't see that. <laughs> but uh it, it's just crazy. So I'm, I'm so happy about that. I'm, I'm happy about the, the, the comfort of this bike, man. It is... I don't know. It's great. Actually, that, that's what I do know. It is fantastic, man. Uh, it is fantastic. we got another bike coming here. wonder what this bad boy is. Let's see. Oh, another Harley rider. I got a Harley! And I, listen, I think that's why I didn't like Harleys. Okay? It's because everybody... Man, I got a Harley. It's the best bike ever. Best best bike you can buy no it's not it is a great bike but it is not the best bike there there i don't think there is a best bike it, it literally is just preference man so that's 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 where i'm at with it and also the whole thing man if you buy a harley you gotta wear harley boots harley jeans i don't even know if they make them but i'm sure they do they make every damn thing else but t-shirt, bandana, glasses, you got a helmet. Everything's got to be hard. No, man, I can't stand that. I, don't ask me why. And I mean, it's nothing against you if, you, if you're like that, man. I have nothing against you. If you own a Harley and you wear all the Harley gear, I have nothing against you. If you own a Harley, wear all the, wear all the Harley gear and are a complete teetotal jerk, that's when I have the issue. So, I don't know, man. And I feel like that's... I feel like I'm not the only one talking and you know about that because Colton and I were kind of the same way. Like, yeah, we own Harleys, but we're not going to wear all this Harley get-up. And if we do, it's not like we're going to be like, oh, yeah, man, we drive a Harley. 
I, don't, I ain't gonna ride with no Kawasaki's or Hondas or Gold Wings. Man, listen, I tell you what, we ride with a group on Tuesdays. I'm like the only Har I was the only Harley last time. It was all Hondas. Honda Gold. What was it? We had a Honda Gold Wing, Honda Gold Wing Trike. We had a Honda Shadow, Honda Valkyrie, which my other buddy that we ride with, man, he's Valkyrie crazy, which is cool though, because those bikes are awesome. Hopefully, I'll get a video of that Tuesday for you guys to see. Uh, but yeah, man, listen, ride what you want to ride, and if anybody talks crap about it, well. They're stupid. So, in the words of everyone's favorite wrestler, Randy Macho Man Savage, on his album he released, I'm back. <laughs> that was the worst thing ever. Let's be real. Randy Macho Man with a rap album right so we're on we're going to my favorite place now which is a fat boy's dream Dairy Queen <laughs> everybody loves the DQ I think and if you don't well no one likes you how about that just kidding I love all of you um, so, what to talk about? All right. So, what do we have in the works for bikes, mics, and beers? Well, to be honest, it's a blank slate. It really and truly is right now. Um, yeah, we were going to start this out as a podcast, and man, who really wants to sit and watch thirty minutes of me and Colton? sitting at a desk talking no one that's that's who um so that's where we're at with that right now and we don't know what we're really going to do honestly we're probably going to just post videos of us riding and talking like i'm doing right now uh we're going to try doing we're going to try doing a couple videos each week you know we're not going to make it a set day it's just going to be a couple videos each week or a video a week you know who knows especially if we take big trips man because i tell you what i'm still tired from last saturday man these dang red lights and this one sucks too it's long as all get out but um i digress uh we you know we ride every tuesday short trips with a, with a group of people and i think i'm going to start filming that uh, and, and getting and getting footage every week and stuff like that. That's my goal. Um, yeah, that's my goal. Hopefully, we'll be getting some merch. We got a guy that's going to do a couple uh, demo shirts for Colton and I. Uh, and if you guys would like some shirts, maybe we can sell some on the cheapy cheap. Because you know, no one wants to pay a butt ton of money for a t-shirt of people that are stupid which is us so <laughs> I completely get it but uh, we really want to make sure we might make some keychains stuff like that there's 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 some things that we have you know we've got the thought process of rolling we just don't know what we're gonna do yet um, you know so tell you what I don't like uh, talking to all you people in a full face helmet because it is hot <laughs> now in the winter time I probably won't mind it as much that's another thing too you know hopefully I got this big bike with a fairing and all this stuff on it uh, so a lot of winds blocked on me and my chest and stuff right now uh, this is gonna be a great a great cold weather bike and, and, and I really can't wait for that I mean obviously I love summertime and I do not want summer to end but unfortunately in West Virginia you get six months of the warm and six months of the cold it seems and uh, now last winter wasn't too bad 
but uh, I didn't really get to pull my bike out as much as I wanted. Of course, I was on that main street, man. You know, 30 degree weather, I'm freezing because there's no protection at all on that thing. So, yeah, man. But uh, hopefully, I'll be taking some trips to Pigeon Forge on this in the winter. Uh, I'm going to try doing a December ride to Pigeon Forge. Uh, which is going to be cool. Probably will stay in a hotel. I really want to like test my luck camping. Because uh, I plan on getting some new camping gear and stuff like that. So hopefully, maybe some camping. But most likely a hotel. Uh, and we'll go for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know. Uh, I did it once before. And I did it in October. I did it on my Goldwing, which I sold. I wish I wouldn't have sold it. But I also like ruined it. I tried turning it into a bobber and it just didn't work, man. But it's okay, you know. This kid wanted to learn to ride a bike and that's what he bought, man. He bought this gold wing, which was torn all to pieces, but it, where it ran. So I cut him a good deal on it, man. You know, he came down, picked it up, was really excited and I'm, I'm glad that he's got it. And hopefully he's still riding it. Hopefully he's having a blast. But I can't wait to take some cold weather trips on this bike. It'll be fun. Um, but I really can't wait for you guys to see our Pendleton trip um, here next month. It'll take a lot of editing and stuff like that, but it's going to be an absolute blast. It always is. Uh, last year the guys went up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I could only go up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is fine by me, man. But, man, listen, you're talking about some of the most beautiful back road West Virginia country, mountains, everything. It's got everything, man. There's big rock cliffs. There's Seneca Rocks, for instance. Then you got the caverns and stuff like that as well. So it's just it's just beautiful. Spruce Knob, the tallest point in West Virginia, tallest mountain in West Virginia. You can see for miles on that thing. So we're gonna take it and get some good drone footage and stuff like that. So we're we're stoked. We really really are. We are looking forward to it this year. We got a couple new riders going with us. Uh, so it's gonna be a blast, man. It was like my first big trip that I took when I started riding. Um, I think I had only been riding for a few months. And, uh, we got a Chevy, man, ain't gonna make it go fast in a 45. But, uh, that was like my first trip that I took with Seneca Rocks with everybody, man. And it's just, it's just a good time to hang out. It's a blast camping. We camp right beside a nice river that we get to take a shower in and stuff, which feels amazing, especially in the morning. It's a nice wake up. <laughs> but uh, it's just three nights of roughing it, man. Uh, nothing around, no cell phone service. It's just great. So if you're ever riding a motorcycle up through West Virginia and you want some beautiful scenery, man, Seneca Rocks, Spruce Knob, that whole area up there, Pendleton County, beautiful beautiful you cannot go wrong with it again i look forward to it so much but uh enough about that because that'll be for another video it has absolutely been beautiful weather here uh again you heard me say at the beginning of the video and i'm talking like 90 degree days according to my harley it's still over 80 degrees here, but I'm sure it's getting engine temperature as well. So it might not be that warm. I don't know. It's pretty warm. I'm, I'm sweating like fat guys do. Um, but yeah, man. That's almost, that's almost it for this video. We're almost to Dairy Queen. We're just going to ride it out, though, till we get there. You never know what's going to happen. I better change my lanes. This car going to hit me. <laughs> but uh, Tuesday, be, be looking forward to our Tuesday rides. They're, they're a blast. You know, last Tuesday we had, uh, I don't know, we had about eight people go with us, eight bikes, which is a lot typically. We don't really have that many, but it is getting to be, it's, it's like peak riding season in West Virginia right now. So 
everybody's everybody's getting out and trying to have fun before you know <laughs> before old man winter gets here again and god when it does it's gonna suck cause it, it it is so cold here man but uh it's absolute be last to ride in the summer and to ride with everybody on tuesdays and like i said it's super blast we, t we pick somewhere short we go eat and we just have a really good time, man. Everybody knows everybody. <laughs> everybody calls you friends. Nah, but they do. They, you know, it's not friends. We're brothers. Uh, that's that, that, that's how it goes, man. And that's a nice Harley right there. That's a black Harley. That's nice. God, you guys are gonna kill me in the comments. I got a Harley. I hate people to talk about their Harleys. Well, I do. But notice I'm not talking about my Harley. I'm talking about their Harleys because they're riding Harleys. Hey, there goes one of my friends. I bet she's going to work. Bye, Crystal. Her husband has, I don't know what year it is, but it is a uh, street glide. I almost said Sportster. <laughs> no. It is a beautiful street glide, 96 cubic inch. Uh, I got some pipes put on. I had a tuner put on it. Aftermarket air filter and so on and so forth. You know, all the typical Harley guy stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. You know I love you. Um, but, uh, he, uh, it's very beautiful. And that's, that's another bike I rode. I'm sorry. Colton's bike is not the only bike that I ever rode. I rode Brian's bike as well. But I only rode his up and down the strip that you just saw before I turned off here. So not, not a lot. Um, but it's a very nice bike. Uh, I like it a lot. He loves it. Which, hey man, he's got to drive it, so I hope he loves it. <laughs> I told my wife the other day, I said, man, this Harley's great until I had to make this payment. Because, you know, I'm not rich. I couldn't pay it off and pay cash for it. So I was like, yeah, that sucks. But it's still a blast, man, even though it might eat some money out of my wallet. I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it for a thing. So we're about to pop into Princeton almost to Dairy Queen. It's Colton in my hometown. And it's th th this road drops you off, I think, to a very cool look of Princeton. You're kind of on top of everything right now. We're like we're on a hill. We're about to pop over into Princeton. It's just kind of cool. I mean, it's not really a big, nice city, but it's okay you can partially see the city from there i just think it's in the morning time it is beautiful to come this way but uh you see there's there's princeton now you want to talk about where everybody knows everybody well that's princeton unless you're a crackhead we don't really know you but we know you because well you're idiots and you steal everything quit stealing our shit that's what we that's, that's what we ask for but princeton there's sheets you know we don't have much we're the fast food capital is what i call all of us we got sheets wendy's mcdonald's kfc sonic taco bell arby's burger king we got it all but it all gets old after a while I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, Dairy Queen. Of course, I already mentioned that because we're going to Dairy Queen. But, uh, you know, you guys know how it gets. It gets old after a while, man. Like, oh, man, I had Wendy's today for lunch. Oh, man, I had McDonald's two days in a row. So that sucks, you know. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Here's the DQ. Also, we're like the banking capital of Princeton. We got like 1,700,000 banks. It's weird. There's another bike. Don't know who that is. Man, this Dairy Queen be packed out, boy. They is a crowded, but I think they're finally open inside, which is great. Might not be able to sit, but I think you can put your orders in inside, so that's awesome. Greatly appreciate that, because as you can tell, this drive-through is crazy. Boys, that'll, boys and girls, that'll do it for bikes, mics, and beers. We'll holler at you later.